Kubernetes networking confuses every beginner. Here are the three concepts you must understand. Concept 1. Here parts talk to each other using the IP address. But the, this IP changes when the pod restart. That's why we need a service. Concept 2. Services give a pods a stable DNS name. So three types in the services cluster IP, node port and load balancer. Cluster IP only for internal communication. Node port exposes on a port and load balancer gives you an external IP for production. So concept 3. Ingress is a smart router. It is instead of creating a 10 load balancer for 10 applications, one ingress is enough for serving the traffic based on the URL. So I have the right now pod service example. Uh, I can show you. So this is the pod service ML file. So I have these two applications. One is the application one is the one part application two is one part and this is the service for those two parts that means it is a multi container part so two containers in a part with the service now let me try to execute with the help of cool kettle command with these two parts with the service so kubectl create f and f parts hyphen service dot aml what is the name we have right now? What happened? Service dot YML. You can see this message application one was created, two created, and the service was created. Now clear this and check whether it is created or not. Cook cuttle get pods comma SVC. I'm directly writing it, so not worry about this. So I will explain it later if you are okay with this. Cook cuttle get pods comma svc so i am trying to get both at a time so it is trying to create the container here is application 1 application 2 and the service is my service is cluster ip that is only internal communication so now try to check now it is created or not see this one two are running now we have services and pods up and running now try to execute the actual command so cookcut will execute iphone it application 2 so here we are using the dns name not the ip okay so see this if you see this message it is working for the internal communication